But there's one or two little stories which I like. Perry with the wake, he was the first one who fought back against the Normans as an outlaw. But then, of course, there is our beloved Robin Hood. But it divides into two stories. You have Robin Hood, the outlaw. That's the man of legend. But we do know that Robin of Loxley did exist. He was outlawed not by King John, but Kid de Leon, Richard the Lionheart himself. He was outlawed because that king, who was one of the worst kings we ever had, is not the king of Hollywood. He reneged on a deal. Robin of Loxley had taken men to the Crusades. When they came back, the king would not pay. So he took it out of the king's deer, because those Norman kings owned every deer in England. He was then cast out as outlaw, but he continued to feed his family, to feed his village. He was shot in the back on the orders of Richard the Lionheart. He's buried in the grave that was supposed to be in Yorkshire, Kirkley's Abbey, but it ain't. It's next to the Saxon church in Loxley Village, next to Stratford-upon-Avon in Warwickshire. People, they go, oh no, it can't be right. In those days, this entire area from the north right the way down to the south was one big forest. They ranged all the way through it. Our history is the best in the world. Now, I've been shooting the longbow since I was a little boy, about five or six. My dad brought me here. It was before they had to put the fence up. Can you see the damage to the tree? That's a petrol bomb. Somebody wanted to burn it down. Spiteful. So we had to put the fence up to protect it. My dad put me inside that tree and he told me the legend of Robin Hood. He then nailed it shut and left me in there for days. <laughs> I've often wondered about my father. No. I was so inspired by the idea of Robin Hood and instead of playing football as a boy I wanted to shoot people <laughs> I'm sorry and then later on I got a job in the army which suited me fine and now I just do this for pleasure now there are no sights on the bow you push it and you pull it it's the heart and the sapwood of the yew tree I'll bring it amongst you in a minute because I'm getting bored already. Now you watch how fast the shot is. You're up. I was aiming then as a small mouse. <laughs> Aren't those whistling arrows really nice? But as you can see, you can never miss a man at just, I think that's about 30 paces. Oh, up the armpit. <laughs> Wouldn't that hurt? Imagine going to the doctors. <laughs> oh, blah! The doctors would say, come and sketch this, it's really interesting. There was one bloke shot uh, about 20 years ago with a longbow through the shoulder. And they took him to hospital and they tied him to the edge of the ambulance because of the arrow sticking right through him. And when they got there, the surgeons are going, wow! And this guy's going, ah, ah! And they says, knock him out. <laughs> and they flew doctors in from all over the place to come and watch because you don't get arrow wounds very often, do you? Unless you're in my world. Now, the man target, it's just for a bit of fun, just to loose off a few hours for practice. What they really shot at was the post with the head on it. But I need to warm up first because your muscles need to actually start to oil. So I'll get rid of these and I'll get some more arrows. I make them. I make my own arrows, bows, strings. Where do you make them? Where do I make them? In a secret place. <laughs> Next to a large keg of 36 pints of ale. <laughs> oh, you get bored just making arrows, don't you? <laughs> you see, the best target is the arrow sticking up out of his head. The idea is if you can continually loose at that kind of a target, Taking no aim at all, just pointing the bow, releasing the arrows. That went straight through, didn't it? Down, down. <laughs> You'll eventually get that close. Right, let me get me shooting arrows and then I'll be with you. Have you got any questions? Good. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm not really robbing her, I'm robbing her dad. I used to be robbing her, but I just got too old. Right, your arrows. English arrows come in bags. It's simple. Arrow, bag. Hollywood has a quiver. And you watch this. They put it on their back. That's weird. Robin, shoot the enemy. <laughs> Imagine a massage in court, can't you? Yeah, just a minute. There it is, and you're dead. I'm afraid they could carry them on their back for transport when they're on their horses and that. But for a straightforward shoot, it's a bag with spacers to protect the fletchings. Just tether them anywhere on your body or leave them at your feet. Oh, God, here we go. Right, I'm going to have a couple at the head. The head on the right. Oh, sorry, getting carried away again. Just out of interest. Hands up, English. Hands up, French. I used to have a French girlfriend, you know. I really felt good. But I can't discuss why. <laughs> Ooh. Right, if I get close to that head, can you go? Cool. In sheer excitement. <laughs> Ooh. Wasn't that interesting? <laughs> oh. Can you imagine being the bloke behind him? Oh. Right, last arrow on board now. Ooh. Got him in the breastbone. Last arrow. Right, personal now. Probably <laughs> 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 they said a few years ago, why don't you make the target bigger? Because <laughs> <laughs> the only evidence we have of targets it's very sketchy, but one we have for sure is of a post with rope around it. But in those days, they used to get your ex-wife to hold it for you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> right, last one for practice. Right, that's it. I mean it now. They never ever did this, by the way. This is pure Hollywood. And my friend, who was the stuntman for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, has never been forgiven for coming up with the idea of two arrows. It was two separate bowmen in the film. When you shoot two arrows, one often goes off to the right. <laughs> and if you remember the film with Kevin Costner, he sees two Norman knights on horses. I ride horses. They're really fast. The 30 paces they were away from him, by the time he'd ripped the arrow fletching off, he would have been dead. Because these are glued on, and then they're over-tied, they're whipped. He'd have been munching these for days. But hey, don't you love the film? I'm only 25 miles from home. You're on Hadrian's wall, you twit. <laughs> That's the problem, one arrow always drops. You want an arrow up, you see the enemy. As soon as the arrow's gone, don't consider it, you put another arrow on. You're gonna get somebody, because normally, I don't know if you noticed, in a battle, it's not normally one bloke. <laughs> He's not going, ha ha, this normally doesn't. So, the idea of the English bowman and his Welsh brother, who was shorter, and <laughs> often singing. <laughs> Ooh, especially when there were Zulus. Have you seen that film? Yeah. Zulu, do you know it wasn't the Welsh? No. It was the second regiment, Royal Warwicks. They stole an English bit. My wife's Welsh. 
I stole a Welsh bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, dear. Hey. No, we haven't got the head yet, have we? What do you think I'm trying to do? <laughs> it's my first shoot of the day. <laughs> Come here at four o'clock, there'll be no head, I'll have shot it to pieces. <laughs> right, last two arrows, then I'll go on the other one and start to do something different. Yeah, he's dead. You can imagine all the blokes around him, they'll all be dead, wouldn't they? Yeah. Right, let's get rid of this one. Um, is anybody genuinely interested in the history? Yeah. Because I've actually got some original arrowheads dug up at Agincourt and places like that. If anybody wants to see them, I'll get them. Yes. <laughs> and then I'll shoot these. If there are any children want to see the sword? It's real. You can get five kids on it. <laughs> hey. Just to show it wasn't a fluke. All oh, right, let's do the sword first. It's going to No, I don't <laughs> chop with the sword. I stick it right through your guts. <laughs> right, right, hands up any kid who wants to hold their sword. <laughs> Grown-ups can hold it too. Yes. Right, well, come along. Just hold the handle. I don't want any more fingers. <laughs> Yeah.